Switching from OneNote to Notion or Evernote is exhausting. All your friends are doing it. But does that mean that you should switch as well? So in this video I'm going to discuss some important benefits which led me to only use Notion to structure my notes and OneNote to write notes during classes. Also I'm going to show Evernote which has similar advantages features to both Notion and OneNote. I got you the timestamps as well if you want to skip parts of the video. So let's start. Struggles with OneNote. As I said in my other videos, OneNote has a really good note taking system and the benefit is the endless space feature which I really appreciate. However, the lack of structure is at the same time one major limiting factor of my productivity. I realized this as I always wasted my time searching for the right key points. And there isn't really a way to sort the notes, which makes it hard to find the information you're looking for. What is Notion? An app which acts as a workspace providing you with an all-in-one service for notes, organization, tasks, calendar features, etc. So I created some sort of a chapter system where every chapter is one semester. As you can see, it's hard to lose the overview. It's simply structured and the layout looks really nice. You can also choose your own emojis for every page. As you can see in this semester I have 5 subjects and every subject is divided into more sub-subjects. So when you click on one you see more pages within these subjects. But there is more, you can create even more pages within these pages you already have. I call them the inception like sub-sub pages. What is Evernote? Evernote is an online service that is used to collect, organize and find notes, documents and photos. Evernote is special, I don't have any notes because I don't use Evernote, but I'm considering changing to this app. Not long ago they released this new overview feature. On the top you have your subjects with the corresponding notes you took and you can click on your notes on the left bar and then it presents you with a column. I think it provides you with a better overview than in OneNote, but not so good as in Notion. However, an advantage to Notion is the ability to make handwritten notes with an actual pen on your iPad for example. This is something you can't do in Notion unless you use an additional app and then convert it into Notion. But you can of course do handwritten notes in OneNote. Now let's head on with some details. If you open a new note in Evernote, it then provides you with this top bar. Here you can do various things like change the size of your text or your font. You can color your text, underline it, make it italic or fat. You can add dots to make keywords or centralize your text. Notion provides you with all necessary features as well, which are things like this. You mark your written text and this table pops up. Something like a quick adjustment. Here you can make your text bold, italic or underline it. Or turn your text into a heading, the same as in Evernote. But there is more. To my knowledge, you can add a toggle text and do quotes, which is something you can't do in Evernote or in OneNote. You can also add an URL which then turns into a box and then you can watch the video in Notion itself without having to jump to YouTube, something again to my knowledge you can't do in Evernote and OneNote. Nevertheless, OneNote is wonderful regarding note taking. Due to its affiliation with Microsoft Office, it provides you with the same functions as in Word, which is impressive. There are many useful things you can use. Something I like in Notion is the listing table. I, for instance, use this table to write down my completed tasks on spaced repetition. Here you can see some tasks I did. And it's really easy to fill in more tasks. So let's say I completed a repetition unit on neurology. I did fine but forgot some things. So then I fill in 2 out of 5 and something which I really like is the opportunity to open these sections individually as pages and then add comments or pictures. You're able to be really creative with these features. Back to the toggle feature. You can add your answers to the revision questions and hide them behind the questions, something no other app I can think of provides. In OneNote and Evernote the answers would have just been shown under the questions. This really slows down my learning process. I probably would just pretend to answer the questions but actually look them up. Something I don't like about Notion is the poor feature of adding pictures. You can't move them freely just to certain spots. Unfortunately the same refers to Evernote as well. OneNote is different, here you can move the pictures freely. 
So that's the end of my video on OneNote, Evernote and Notion. And maybe I helped some of you realize which app suits you more. If you have questions or if you want to see other things, then write them down in the comment section. Also subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me and see you in the next video. Bye.